So I went on a deep dive of finding a new easy cur a new cable attachment curl bar because I've been testing this Unitree Pump Max, um, which I was selected as a beta tester. And my go-to cable attachment bar, which I've been using with my K Pulley Go and my K Box, is this eccentric solid aluminum bar of theirs that they make. And it's a great bar. Um, it's padded, not knurled at all. Um, but I like it because it's lightweight. And weight of the bar and the bend of the bar were two of my primary concerns. And then the third one was price. And well, technically fourth uh, requirement was the ability to return it if it wasn't to my satisfaction. So my baseline was this curl bar or bar as uh, the, the eccentric bar and why lightweight is important <clears throat> is I found after reading about the Beyond Voltra uh, Smart Gym Electronic Gym which is the Mac Daddy of all Smart Gyms right now as far as this um, small portion of home gym equipment that Unitree is trying to compete with and, it, and it's having a small electronic resistance unit that will mimic a cable machine. And why that was important is as I was reading about it, I was looking at the accessories when the Beyond Vulture came out and they had a carbon, they called it the Carbon Flex Bar, and which I thought was like, wow, like why wouldn't you just sell either an aluminum bar, um, which is a fancy material, or a very nice steel bar and the 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 reason why is with a cable machine where you don't have a uh, expense expensive electronic unit if you drop something against it, it's not a big deal um, but if you drop something heavy on a flywheel which has to rotate at a certain amount of speed it could throw it out of balance and if you, you hit hit a electronic unit that's made of plastic and glass and all kinds of things it'll shatter or crack. And that's why having a lightweight bar is actually kind of important. And cause you just don't realize like when you, when how clumsy you are or how much little thought you put into things when you you're done exercising. And when you come from a home gym or gym that it's full of steel things, you don't really think about that. But when as, as materials in home gym equipment starts to become more fragile, having a lightweight bar is important. So, of the materials that I was looking at, I was looking at the Voltra bar because all things considered at $150, it sounds expensive, but really for, it's not because it's a really high quality uh, piece of equipment as far as I can tell. It's just basically a uh, nicer material iteration of the eccentric bar. Uh, but the only problem with that one is the bend. It's actually a straight bar because they just couldn't, for whatever reason, get it uh, to add a bend to it. Not that that's not impossible because I race bicycles and we have carbon fiber bars that have all kinds of crazy bends. So I went on a deep dive in Amazon to try to find a good bar that checks most of the bo those boxes, lightweight, good bend, good price, and I can return it. And what I found was this rep fitness bar It's their easy curl. What do they call this? Is there a full name for this? Multifunctional trainer attachment, multi grip curl bar. And that is a good ex the description of it. It weighs 3.2 kilograms. So you can do the American conversion of that. And it is, yeah, so multi grip curl bar if you're gonna search for it. And this is the bar. <clears throat> it's 28 inches wide uh, versus my uh, K eccentric bar, which is 26, 26 inches wide. So what I like is the bend of the sparks that has your traditional easy curl bend, but it also cants back up and the other bars want to point down and the body, the body solid bar was the other one I was looking at. That was made of solid aluminum, which would have checked the box of the lightweightness, but the bend isn't ideal and it 
continues to go straight down as opposed to bend up this way. And that's, that is a problem when you're trying to do a pull down <clears throat> this way and the bar wants to, apparently wants to spin up this way and it's awkward because it makes your pinky, your pinkies go high because the bar continues this way. So that one immediately uh, was struck from the list, even though it checked the box of being cheap, lightweight, and returnable. So this is the one I, I stuck with. It is heavy, 3.2 kilograms. Alexa, what is 3.2 kilograms in pounds? 3.2 kilograms is about seven pounds, one ounce. Seven pounds, one ounce, not too bad. Uh, but it's definitely solid. The knurling is great on it. I like it, it's comfortable, but it's still grippy. Uh, you just have to be more mindful of laying it down. So that's the only downside of this. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some of the exercises I use with it. It's pretty standard, uh, but it's a good bar. The, I don't know how well the bushing is gonna hold up over time. I don't use this constantly, but that is something to consider. But given the price of it, I think it was definitely under 50 bucks, uh, it's worth it. Worst case, I'd spray some dry lube, silicone dry lube here, which made worked wonders with this eccentric bar. I'd used it for years and never thought to, just got used to the squeaking of the, of the of it rotating on the bushing and making noise and just squirted some silicone dry lube, garage door lube as a matter of fact, and it, it quieted it down. But this is a great bar. I like it so far. Gonna definitely keep it. And it was delivered insanely fast from Pennsylvania to Washington, DC. Um, you know, Rep, Fit, Rep Fitness is a great company. So let me show you some exercises.